hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel another day another scholarship so thank you very much for the returning subscribers we are now 15,000 hooray and for those just joining us for the first time you're welcome it's a welcoming family here on this youtube channel and we talk about scholarship opportunities all around the world so today we'll be going to the netherlands and we're looking at fully funded master's scholarships in the netherlands at four different universities in the netherlands so we're looking at opportunities at the wageningen university and research institute in the netherlands we're looking at um, opportunities at the university of maastricht also in the netherlands and then um, we have tu deft and Utrecht University, Utrecht University, all in the Netherlands. And without any further delay, I think we should begin. So we'll be starting today with opportunities at the University of Wageningen. So Wageningen University, recognized for their courses in sustainability, agriculture, environment, and things like that. As a matter of fact, two people from this YouTube channel got into fully funded master's program at this university, the Wageningen University. By the way, the W is pronounced as V, so it's Wageningen University. So let me just show you a quick preview of the available courses in this university so you can see like a general theme you see things like animal breathing things like biology communication health science food quality nutrition um molecular life science and the rest of them plant science so there's this common theme of sustainability you know green animal life um life sciences and um, water sciences and things like that so if that is your area of interest i think you want to check out um bargaining in university so let's quickly go to the scholarships i think that's the reason why we are here in the first place so as i said earlier two people from this channel got into the university so they've resumed already and um i'm happy for them so we intend to double that number or even triple the number let's send four or even five or six or even ten people in the next intake next year and the journey begins now so these are the available scholarships for the next intake september or february 2022 i'll be looking at some of them together it's a very long list depending on your country of origin or your nationality you might be qualified for at least one of these opportunities so one thing you should look out for is that these opportunities might have different coverage for instance the excellence program covers full tuition for um, two years full tuition for two years but they say nothing here about living expenses or living allowance and of course here's for international students this opportunity is for international students but if you compare this opportunity with this one below this african scholarship program you see here is a um, full scholarship at Wageningen university so it's full it doesn't just say tuition it says full scholarship and to show you what i mean that it is more than tuition let's open the page so this one says here tuition waivers for 24 months and you receive for this african scholarship program is more than tuition waivers it also contains living allowance so let's see it quickly so this is the africa scholarship program and the deadline is here 3rd january 2022 and um to be accepted in um, September 222 or February 2023. And as I said, it contains a lot, not just um, tuition. Travel cost to and for Wageningen, living allowance for the entire 24 months, tuition coverage, visa cost coverage, um, budget for for um like workshops, 
in um, within Europe and budget to participate in some other programs as well. So here you have the admissions requirements and every other thing. So there are other um, opportunities like this here on this list. It's a very long list, as I said. So it depends on your pocket. Pay attention to the different coverage. Some might come as full scholarships covering everything. Some of them might cover partial or just um, tuition fees. This is another one. This is another one. So you could just click here and check what exactly it is covering. So you know so you know exactly how to plan yourself. So there are lots of opportunities there. Take a look at them on your own. So I've looked at them myself and I discovered that most of these scholarships you do not apply um, directly. What does this mean? You apply first to the department and tell them that you're interested in this scholarship. So apply to the department, tell them you're interested in the scholarship, or contact somebody in the department saying, hey, I would also like to be considered for this scholarship. So the department puts you forward to be considered for the scholarship. I remember for those who got it last year, they actually went through some kind of interview and screening processes before they were eventually admitted. So go to the department, choose one of these courses we looked at. So while filling the form indicates that you're interested in um, one or more of these scholarships here. Tell them you're interested and hopefully you get shortlisted for the scholarship. For the applications requirements, they are the same thing. Just go to the course page of any of these courses, go there and see the documents you need to pro um, provide, the applications and materials you need to provide for the course. And for the scholarship as well, there are usually things like probably cutoff marks that you should get, particular grades you need to get to be eligible for the scholarship. So try as much as possible to meet up with those grades as well, if that makes sense. So, for instance, for, for this one, they want you to be like um, high achieving from an African country, get up to 80% of your GPA, and ready to study um, at the Wageningen University and keep to the deadline. And these are other things you have to, to pay attention to. And there are steps here one by one on how to get selected for the scholarship and relevant dates as well to keep in mind. So in case if you're caught for an interview, when the interview will occur and how the processes will go. So you could read up this on this um, information on your own quickly to, to get a clear idea of what they want you to do and um, how to prepare for the interviews. So that is it at Wageningen University. This is it at Wageningen University. Take advantage of the numerous opportunities here to apply. So there are numerous funding opportunities here. There are some opportunities based on nationality as well. There are some based on continent like the African scholarship program. And there are some for just everybody. So check for the one that you qualify for. So quickly, let's go to a new scholarship. Let's check the University of Maastricht, Maastricht University. So for this university, there are several um, departments, several faculties. So you have arts and culture, behavioral sciences, business and economics, education, globalization, development, health and life sciences, law, media technology and innovation, and politics and government and sciences. So you see there are lots of courses here that you can choose from, from the University of uh, Maastricht, whether in the sciences or the social sciences or in the arts, you know, law and the rest of them. So what about funding opportunities here? So there are also lots of funding opportunities here actually depending on your country of origin. So you can check them out. There's a long list here. So we're looking at one particularly. There are lots of opportunities here. But there's one popular one, which is the uh, UM Holland High Potential 
scholarship is quite popular is that annual scholarship at the University of Maastricht or Maastricht University. So it contains here eligibility criteria and the duration of the course and every other thing. But just to give you um, a quick preview of what it covers. So it's worth close to 30,000 euros and includes tuition and monthly stipend. So you're coming as an international student to the Netherlands, you do not, do not need to worry because this scholarship has got you through and through. So highly talented students from outside the EU. So this scholarship is targeted at you if you're coming from outside the EU. So here you got lots of info about who is eligible and usually they need this high achieving student not studied in the in Europe previously you know probably with financial need and here they said you shouldn't be all older than 35 as at first of September 2022 so you could always apply for a 13 month course which is like a one year program or a 25 year 25 months sorry course which is a two year program and they've specified what they're going to give you here that's the in terms of living allowance coverage what you're going to get health insurance visa cost tuition and the rest of them so of course this might change for 2022 2023 usually it increases actually usually it increases so it says this um, scholarship will open in October 2021, this is already October 2021, so we're expecting them to open as soon as possible. All that info here on how to apply and application forms for the different faculties. For the different faculties, I think it's a two way application. So you apply for the master's course and you also fill these forms depending on the faculty you're applying to. So I'll take that again. You apply to the master's program. They're participating master's programs. Here yeah, you could look at look at the participating master's program. So these are the master's program here. So these are the different faculties and programs you might be interested in. Here is for faculty of arts and social sciences, faculty of law. You see health, medicine, life sciences. Faculty of Science and Engineering, Faculty of Psychology, Neuroscience, Business, Economics. So hopefully there's something here for everyone. So you apply here and then you will meant to also apply simultaneously, I believe, for the scholarship through these forms on this page. Usually they ask you things like, why do you want to study here? What do you intend to do when you finish? What is your academic background? and things like that. We've covered um, topics like that on this channel already. Check my video on how to write a motivation letter or statement of purpose that will help you answer some of these scholarship questions that you'll be asked. Unusual documents like your CV, as I said, letter of motivation, proof of academic excellence. So probably they want um, your transcript, you know, certificates, I could ask for your reference as well and things like that. So pay attention to this and um, I wish you good luck as you put your documents together. So that's not all, by the way, that's not all. Remember, we have four different universities and now we're going to TU Delft. TU Delft also in the Netherlands. This is also like a practical science university. So you have things like engineering, you know, physics, applied mathematics, you know, construction, geology, and information technology, and the rest of them. So this university is mostly for those in the sciences. So as usual, we'll be running to the available scholarship opportunities here. So there are a number of them, but the one that caught my attention was the Justice Louis Van Helsing Scholarship. I talked about the scholarship some time ago when it wasn't open. Well, now it is open and the deadline is the 1st of December 2021. Not so far away, if you ask me. So if you're interested in the scholarship, 
I advise that you start working on it as soon as possible. So there are others. That there's also one dedicated to those coming from Sub-Saharan Africa as well. And all master's program at this university are eligible for the scholarship. The deadline is also, this one is 13th, but also in December 2021. So pay attention to the deadlines and pay attention to the available courses or the eligible courses for Van Helsing. Um, it's also all courses in this university. So there are some particular scholarships depending on departments. So it depends on the department. If you're in the applied sciences and I want to check out some of these scholarships, if you're into um, electrical engineering, mathematics, computer science. So we want to check this industrial design engineering, technology policy management. There are some specific departmental scholarships you might just qualify for there as well. And most of them are also fully funded. They cover everything. Tuition, living cost, insurance, even travel allowances, and well. of course, health coverage. So let's quickly look at the Van Helsing. Just a quick preview. I've talked about this already. I've talked about this already. And as usual, they want high achieving students 80% of your GPA. It's very simple to calculate 80%. What you scored over the total score times 100. So if you scored 4 over 5 in your undergrad times 100, that's 80%. Um, so these are the documents you need to provide as well. So usually you're meant to apply to the course you're interested in, as we said in the other scholarship, then submit also an application form, an application form as well, that scholarship application form, different from the admissions, um, the admissions um, requirements of the admissions application. So you could always do this, I believe, simultaneously. And there are other things about other documents you need to bring together. So this is what the scholarship forms look the scholarship form looks like. Your normal data, introduce yourself, things like your country of origin, your academic background, why you studied in undergrad, the project you engaged in, your general academic interest, your general academic focus. Well, I think you should be careful here. Put only information that will help your scholarship application. Don't just put random info, information about friends, about families, about ob hobbies that are not connected to um, the scholarship. So you want to be targeted information, your background, your country of origin, your academic background, like what you studied, the project you've undertaken, your general research academic interest and focus, probably relevant work experience as well, might come in handy here. And they just said a hundred words. So in the next question, they talk about things that make you a good student besides studies. This is a good time to talk about like your volunteer experience that apart from good grades, apart from trying to impress your parents or getting a good job with good grades, you're also interested in like community development, you're interested in sustainability or um, climate action and list the activities you do, you know, volunteer activities the organizations you join, your particular roles in those volunteer organizations and how you impact society. This shows that you're a rounded student, that apart from the classroom, you're also making impacts, you know, outside the classroom and in the real world. So this question is quite simple. The next one about why you chose the university, um, why you're applying for the scholarship, on why you chose the university, you could mention particular things about the course in that university that you intend to study. So why you chose that course, the professors in that department, the skills you intend to learn in that department and things like that, the international outlook, the facilities they have. And while you're applying for scholarship, you can talk quickly about your financial need, that you do not have um, enough money, you could give an estimate of your annual income. And this is an estimate of my annual income. It's not enough to sponsor my master's studies. And that is why I'm applying for a scholarship. Now this question talks about what will you be bringing to 
the department, your contributions to department. So you might say uh, you will increase the diversity of the department. You know, coming as an international student with your own unique experience, with your own unique stories, with your own unique initiative. So you come to animate the department with your own unique experiences, stories, and um, increase the diversity. You could also mention how you could join like clubs in the university. Probably they have a swimming club or they have a chess club or they have a badminton club. Just part of the contributions you bring to the to the university as well, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. So plans after graduation. This is um what do you intend to do after you graduate? Are you going back into the field, going to your previous place of work? Are you um thinking of furthering your your education probably doing a PhD. If you, if so, what will you be studying? What do you think you'll be studying in your PhD? You can also categorize these um, career aspirations into short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. Those short-term goals, what will you do immediately after? Medium-term goal, probably a year or two years later after graduation, and a long-term goal your grand big plan do you want to become the president of the country do you want to be the director of a research group do you want to earn your get your own lab you know things like that might be relevant and that is it for this scholarship remember there are several other scholarships in this university apart from this louis um um justice louis van helsen scholarship we also have this one for sub-saharan africa I can see Kenya here already. I can see Nigeria. There's Ghana, there's Tanzania, there's Zimbabwe. So the application requirements are still quite the same. Watch out for the deadline. And they said your MSc thesis topic, which relates to um, should relate to sustainable development goals. So this is like an extra requirement here. And of course, this covers tuition, full tuition for your master's course, and also contributes to your living expenses. So the admissions requirements very similar to what we talked about initially. So only they said something here about only students who have been granted the scholarship will be informed by the university in March 2022. So I hope you'll just be among those who will be contacted by then. So for this one, it's just four um, spaces, four people. For the Van Helsing, it's two per faculty. So there are several faculties there. So two per faculties, you might have close to 10 people or even up to 20 people. So that's not all. We still have one more university, guys. Can you believe it? Four universities in the Netherlands offering fully funded opportunities. So this is the University of Utrecht. I hope I got the pronunciation correctly. University of Utrecht in, in, um, in the Netherlands as well. And these are the eligible programs. So you have things like Earth and Sustainability, Economics, Government, Education, Health, Life Sciences, Language, Literature and Communication, Law, Mathematics, uh, Media, Natural Sciences, Philosophy, Social and Behavioral Sciences. So there's a variety here of both sciences, particle sciences and social sciences. So as usual, we're running straight to the available um, scholarship here. There are a number of them, but the one that might actually catch your interest the most is the Utrecht Excellence Scholarship. It's an annual scholarship. I noticed that they have not updated their website for this year, but not to worry. It's an annual scholarship and I know it to be updated very soon. And I don't think this would change. That's the general applications requirements will not change. So these requirements are quite similar to those we've seen before in previous universities. So do not worry. There's actually nothing um, really new. Well, you might want to pay attention to these bits of information. 
Sometimes the scholarship co um, covers just tuition fee. Sometimes it covers tuition fee plus 11,000 euros in living expenses. This is probably the one you want. And please indicate this in your application. If you are to choose between both, I think uh, it's a very simple choice to make, except you have the money to fund your living expenses and you need just the tuition fees covered. So every year they are set 20 to 25 scholarships. That's quite big. At least 20 to 25 were um, scholars were accepted for 2021 and 2022 set. So for last year, the deadline was 31st of January 2021. So by this, we can infer that the deadline for this might be 30th of January 2022. And as, as I said, this website has not been updated for the new intake but it's an annual scholarship so very soon you get the new info you also get here how to apply and every kind of information you want usually there's also a contact person you can always contact to say hey i do not understand this can you please explain to me so do not worry you could always go to the contact and ask them that I'm interested in this opportunity. These are my questions. Um, can you please help me with them? There's even also a WhatsApp number here. So if you need information immediately, you can always chat them up even on WhatsApp. So guys, take advantage of this um, opportunities of these opportunities. And that is it, guys. Remember where we started from? Fagadangin University. Then Maastricht University, then TU Def, I believe, then Utrecht University, all in the Netherlands. So I wish you good luck in your applications. Put your questions below if you have any, and um, hopefully I'll get back to you. And until next time, guys, stay motivated. We cannot wait to celebrate you. Bye-bye for now.